I'll get to final thoughts and Michael, I'll start with you. How would you grade the off season if things stand pat? I would grade it probably a C. I think it's average. I think they brought in Jalen Brunson. I really, really like him as a player, but I'm not sure that moves the needle for him hardly at all. Um, you know, are they a playoff team? I think it's a possibility. I think it's a maybe. You know, I think much more, you know, depends upon does Julius Randle find his way? Does Julius Randle, RJ Barrett, and Jalen all get some get along? Does Julius Randle's shot come around? Can these guys share the ball amongst themselves? Um, if all those things trend in the right direction, then I think they can be a playoff team. But I think they're on the verge, just like they were two years ago. They kind of made a surprising run and got to the fourth seed. But that was that was a little bit of a surprise. Um, I'm not sure they've changed the needle much for their trajectory. Um, maybe more moves are to come, or maybe they're looking for future years. But but I would say it's just an average year. CP? I agree with Mike. I'll go with a C. I think on, on the last show I said incomplete, right? So yeah. uh, I'll go with a C because I think while, while the Brunson and Hartenstein moves are, are nice, I think they will help the team in a, in a multitude of ways. I don't see them bumping them up in wins that drastically. And so I still think the success of this team is going to be largely based on Julius Randle, uh, the continued progression of our young core, R.J. Barrett. How do they handle the minutes again between Julius Randle, Obi Toppin? How does Emmanuel quickly look in year three? How do they handle Quentin Grimes, Cam Reddish in that platoon with Fournier at the wing? I think those are some of the questions that need to be asked. And as we spoke on Julius, I think he's he's going to be the X factor in this whole thing. You know, when you look at the stat sheet, you see 20 and nine. Uh, you may say, OK, it wasn't such a bad year, but there, there was a disconnect there. There was certainly a disconnect with the fans and maybe there was a disconnect in terms of his role with this team. So now you're going to bring in Jalen Brunson. You, you have RJ Barrett, who's going to look to assume uh, his position with this team. How does Julius coexist with those guys? Can he play off for those guys? And will he stay engaged being in more of a supporting cast role on both ends of the floor? So I think he holds the keys to the success next, next season. Ian, how about you? Yeah, I'll go C plus. Uh, I think uh, you gentlemen hit on a lot of the points that I've been thinking about. I think that the Jalen Brunson signing for many different reasons is a make or break signing for Leon Rose's team presidency here in New York. Uh, I, I'm writing about that. So I, uh, it's hard to you know fit all those thoughts in, in a little bite here. I'm going to have a, a story on that on SNY.TV a little bit later. I'm not a hot take guy, but I think this is a take that I feel pretty good about. Um, so I, I think, Given all the factors around Brunson, uh, C plus, and I say that because we still don't know like how this is going to shake out with the Knicks young players and their veterans. Is there a clarity on the direction there? They played a lot of young players late in the season, second half of the season, but some of that was due to injury, right? So if everybody's healthy, who gets the nod in the rotation? Veterans, young guys. That we won't know the answer to that question for a while. But to me, I, I thought that the, we might get a little bit of clarity there. Uh, this offseason with the Knicks. And so that's one reason why I have it as a C plus. Um, I, I don't see this team taking a big leap uh, right now. I think getting the 42 wins would be a huge win for this group as it is next season. So you're not going to see that huge leap. I don't see it at least. And so that's why I'm going C plus also because you're signing Robinson, you signed Brunson, you're going to sign Barrett at some point to an extension, I think. And then that's you, you don't have a lot of financial flexibility left after that. So so this is the group, and uh, and we'll see where things go from here. Yeah, I think I think you're right. The 42 win season is probably uh, the realistic range. As long as they get back to the postseason, then that would be success, right? That would be something that they are expected to do because you can't miss the postseason for the second year in a row. That's just not it's inexcusable uh, with this roster.